somewhere in between the Cyclade Islands. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. To Paros. Yamas. Yamas. Opa. Good morning guys from somewhere in between the Cyclade Islands in Greece. We are currently on an eight day cruise with Variety Cruises and last night we cruised overnight from Spetses towards Paros. I slept so, so well. It's something about that slight rocking as you sleep that makes me feel like a baby. But we are on our way to Anti Paros, which is a tiny island just off of Paros to do some swimming. This is lovely. Having breakfast up on the top deck as the sun rises. We're actually on the Santorini deck. It is kind of fitting. I've got my morning coffee and I have my Tiropita, the Greek pastry with cheese. Good morning. Good morning. What a way to wake up. We've just pulled in to Anti Paros and the water is so so blue see it's so calm it almost looks like melted chocolate you know like rippled um and just so calm i think we need to get in this is out of this world this is actually the captain's favorite spot it is his secret spot on anti paros you can only get here by boat and it is known as little monastery beach it's like 9 a.m and the water color is it's unbelievable. We're going to get to jump in and then we can even take the tender across to the tiny little beach within this cove. There is only one way to wake up this morning in the cyclades. Woo! And that is jump. Woo! Oh, I'm alive. However, you can be more civilised and get in a tender like me. You don't have to jump off the side what a way to wake up it is pretty fresh out here this morning and i've got to swim all the way to beach because molly decides to be a little bit lazy and get the tender <laughs> this is amazing so for a one minute tender boat ride or a 20 or, minute swim if you're unfit like me <laughs> or a 20 minute swim you get to check out the small monastery beach um, and it is just us it is secluded it's sort of like in a canyon the water is so so clear um, and it's a little bit chilly the water even though the sun is shining it? it's a Did little bit did you swim for 20 chilly. minutes no but my feet my feet are in um, and there you can see the Galileo behind us I mean it's perfect this is perfect if you were going to design your perfect beach, this would be it. You've got the canyons and the hills running down to this beautiful sandy beach with the clearest water I've and me ever in the, seen. <laughs> me in the sea. Yeah, the water is so clear. It's also getting that like, you know when it has like rainbows from the sun rays? It's that clear. It's like water, but... The best thing. What? No one else is here. It's a no. secret. We shouldn't really be telling everyone about this place. You don't know where it is. I'm not going to tell you, but... You swimming, ba you swimming back? No, I'm getting in. You ready? Go. Oh, it's warm. That was just the best way to start the day. That is definitely in the top three beaches I have ever been to, but we are changed, we are dry, and we sailed for around 30 minutes from Antiparos to Paros, and we pulled in at the port capital of Parikia, but our plan is to head to a smaller village, so we've got to run and grab the bus, and then check out the capital a little bit later. Thank you. Hi. 
after a very quick 15 minute bus ride that only cost 1 euro 80 each by the way we have made it to Nausa. Nusa? I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet. Um, I can see why we came here. I can see why we came here. A lot of people have said that this is actually the highlight of Paros. I can see why. It actually is a fisherman's village so you can see the fishermen coming in on their boats with the fresh catch and apparently it's also a cosmopolitan pub. I don't know if that means it's like kind of hip It does seem hip. Upcoming. The bars and restaurants look amazing. There's a lot of bars and restaurants that are all very fancy. This is just perfect. Beautiful. I have no words to describe it. I actually feel like this could be one of the prettiest islands that we have seen so far. Now we haven't seen too many, but definitely the prettiest town. I love that it's a mix. Yeah. Fisherman stroke fancy restaurants. It's a great mix. You could literally get lost. It has the most beautiful little streets, again with the whitewashed walls and the white cobbles, I would say, um, and they lead down to the Aegean Sea. It is just, I have no words, stunning is the only word I can use. Yamas! Yamas, how nice is this? We have come into, let me read, Mare Nostrum. Considering this is the fourth largest island in the Cyclades, um, Compared to Naxos, there is quite a bit that is closed, but what is open is stunning. It's very, very hip. It so you're going to say extremely hip. We're actually having a beer in an old church that has been redeveloped, so I don't know whether we should be, but these were five euros each, so that seems like it's the going price yeah. on the Greek islands. And You're paying for the view, I suppose. Yeah, just look at that view. If you've noticed that my skirt is half green and soaking wet, and I have a huge cut on my arm. It's a tiny cut. It's because we we walked around there and I got stuck in the algae and slipped and fell. But most pe most people here. know not to walk on the concrete near the water that is covered in green algae because you slip over. I'm feeling sorry for myself. I think Molly has just about recovered from her tragic tragic fall we're actually now walking out on a tiny little wall which you need to be careful on actually to the old venetian castle which dates back to the 15th century just look at this behind me in the summer or in the evening all these bars and restaurants open up they call it like the little mykonos or the new mykonos and this um fortress was actually built to defend the island or the area from pirates which Molly wouldn't be very good at because she can't even stand up. Any sign of any pirates? No sign. The only pirate I see is you. Is um, there any <laughs> sign of you staying on your feet in the castle? Ow, look, it's so painful. I could do with the dip in the sea actually because that would make it feel really nice. But um, how funny that this looks nothing like what you envisage Greece. You think of Greece as like the whitewashed buildings and this is just like Especially Paros. It's, a, it's yeah. a real contrast to the town that is right behind us. Time for lunch. I'm really pleased we found this place to eat because we wandered a lot of the back streets and even though they are incredibly beautiful with the whitewashed buildings, most of the bars and restaurants seem to be closed. A lot like Naxos, either they open in the evening or they are already closed for the season. But we have found Axinos and I had to get this. I got recommended, by the way, to this is a 56. It's blue. Isles. Blue. It is a Paros original from a microbrewery. Um, <laughs> it's I, so cool. It, I just couldn't say no to this. I did not expect this in Paros. Oh, it's nice. I always find beer a little bit hard to describe. I always say the same things. It's very hoppy, but it's nice. It says a taste of the Aegean. So maybe that's the best way to describe it, but we do have some food on the way. We had the Saganaki before in Naxos, only once, and this is completely different. So essentially it's just fried cheese. I don't know what type of cheese it is, but... It looks different. It's not quite mm. fried. Before it was, it was deep fried. It was so good. It really reminds me of a consistency of halloumi, but ever so slightly thicker. If that makes sense. This is the ultimate combination. You get a little bit of this pepper sauce. You get a little bit of tzatziki, or a lot of tzatziki, and then the <laughs> saganaki on top. 
I'm a genius. All of that came to around 30 euros. So two starters, two beers, and one water that we did not ask for. They put it on the table and we presumed that it was free and then we got charged like five euros for a bottle of water. But we have realized that in Greece, the serving sizes are huge. So get like two starters or one starter and share a main. But we have come back to the capital of Paros, Parakia, we've just walked past the windmill roundabout, which is actually one of the main sites to see in the capital, but we're heading back to the Galileo, our ship, as this evening we have a Greek party night, which we are very excited for. Another thing we love about this cruise is that on a lot of the destinations you get overnight, so you get the whole day to explore, but you also get the evening, so you get to get the sunsets and you get to take in the nightlife of each destination. There are still lots of bars and restaurants in Parikia. It's definitely worth a walk around, but I would say that the best place or the most happening place to be is Nusa. I think I've got that right. Um, but there's also some ferries that run to Antiparos, and I'd say that they pretty much have some of the it nicest beaches. It has the best beaches. beach. If you want the best beach in Paros, head to Antiparos. This is why having the overnight stay at the ports is so so worth it because it means we get to watch the sunset like this oh my god the sunset is amazing the sky is turning pink um and i had to get changed out of my algae clothes Your greek dancing <laughs> oh it looks good oh <laughs> there's only one way to start a greek party and that's with a two liter bottle of ouzo <laughs> How much do you pour? This is dangerous. Pour, 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 pour. I'll be drunk. <laughs> no, no. Yamas. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Opa. <laughs> Can we just talk about your Greek dancing oh my God. for a minute? It started off with an Uzo party, then it went to traditional Greek dancing, and then we have got a, a buffet, buffet that is everything Greek. Right, so I've got some moussaka, some tzatziki, I've got some feta bruschetta, I have some spanakopita, I have some Greek meatballs, I have some Greek... It's actually called gigantes, it's like a bean dish. Um, I also have the dolmades hidden under there. What, what, what should I try? I'm going to try the moussaka first with, with, with two knives, as you do. It is our favourite thing ever, honestly. I love Look at these mini portions. I'm pretty much having moussaka mixed with everything else that is Greek on the plate. Good morning from the Galileo. That was so much fun last night. An Uzo party, followed by some Greek dancing, followed by all the Greek food I could ever dream of. I do actually have to apologize about Molly's um, attempt at Greek dancing. Let's just say <laughs> she was not the best, but we are now currently sailing from Paros to Santorini. And Paros was just beautiful. It really was a lot like Naxos. Um, I'd actually say it was probably the most beautiful island we've seen in Greece so far. And again, you get the whole place to yourself if you come in October, November, you get this amazing, probably once in a month experience because the rest of the time in Greece, it's gonna be extremely busy. But like I said, we are now sailing towards probably the most famous island in all of Greece, Santorini. We'll see you in the next one, Santorini.